and more children to suffer or die in this way. Marie could be here with us, but she is not. Next month, she would have been three years old. That is a very painful date for me. It's painful to not have her with me and show her what I feel and say what I want for her. I had no words to describe that. From all parts of the political spectrum, one of the biggest issues that we have when it comes to immigration is the fact that we have an undocumented population. Mm -hmm. Now you can fix that by trying to build a wall or you can fix that by trying to document people. She said the quiet thing out loud. I told y'all. This video is brought to you by TatumPlus.com. TatumPlus.com is our brand new uh, subscription program. Look, I, I, I've been providing free content for the last four years. Over 1.1 billion views of free content, 2.7 thousand videos. If you don't want to subscribe, don't subscribe. I don't care. But if the people that want exclusive content and you want to support the channel, this is your opportunity to support the channel. Because if God forbid, if YouTube decides to shut it all down, you'll never see another video from me ever again. Unless I start a platform that's sustainable. So shout out to the people that joined the Tatum Plus, and I hope that many others join. It's $5.99 a month, which is less than 16 cent a day to join. And it's supporting the channel, it's supporting me, and it's supporting our move over to our own sustainable stuff instead of being reliant on some of these platforms that can just get rid of you like this. All right? Like, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get a notification. And then we go live and make a video. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. AOC, AOC. I ain't seen her talk in a very long time. This woman here is a conundrum. Now, I'm going to be real with y'all. I bet a whole bunch of conservatives would take it there with her. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just being honest. A whole bunch of conservatives, they, they don't like her, but I bet, you, I, bet that, I bet you if nobody knew, they would probably date her. Anyway, she's still crazy as three left shoes on an eight-legged man. But what I want to play this video for is to let you guys know they are saying the quiet part out loud. They're saying the quiet part out loud. I've been telling y'all for 400 years now. Even before I was born, I was telling y'all, my ancestors was telling y'all that these communist fools are, are, are attempting to allow the border to stay open in perpetuity so that they can do what she about to say. I, I'm telling you, I want y'all to comment. Have I been saying this or have I not been saying this? AOC just said exactly their agenda. And if you wonder why the borders are open, you wonder why how they let 300,000 illegal aliens in our country. This is exactly what their plan is. A hundred, they, they not hiding it from you. This is what they want to do. Roll the clip. From all parts of the political spectrum, one of the biggest issues that we have when it comes to immigration is the fact that we have an undocumented population. Mm -hmm. Now you can fix that by trying to build a wall or you can fix that by trying to document people. I can't stand these people. I swear to God, please. I hope they all go to hell. We we can fix that by documenting people. I, listen, 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 listen. These people are not in our country legally, and they just they forgot their papers at home. So we're just giving them new documents. These people are illegally in our country. You can't just give documents to illegal people. That's not how it work, but that's how they want to do it. You can't give it. Listen, they broke the law. They could come through a point of entry, a port of entry to seek asylum. They could do that, but they're not. They're sneaking in our country. Many of them probably don't have an asylum claim. You have to have an asylum claim. Everybody can't just come to America. They feel like it. But that's not why they don't have documents. You have documents if you come and seek asylum. You have documents if you come over here with a work visa. You have documents. If you sneak, you don't have nothing. And some of them don't shouldn't have nothing. Some of these people are criminals. Some of these people are, are, are MS-13. Some of these people are radicalized. Some of these people are terrorists. Until you can figure out who's who, you can't just let people in the country. But what do they want to do? They want to get as many illegal aliens in America. They want to give them mass amnesty. That means make all of them citizens at once. 
Who do you think they're going to vote for if they get mass amnesty from the Democrat Party? They get documented by the Democrat Party. Who do you think the millions of people who are undocumented in this country illegally, illegally in this country, who do you think they're going to vote for? They did the same thing to you black folks. Same soup warmed over. Gave you food stamps, welfare, all this other stuff to make you dependent on the government and make the government your God, make the government your baby daddy. This is what they did. They're going to do the same thing to illegal aliens in America and all of the DACA and all of the anchor babies and everybody whose vested interest is in another country other than America. They're going to give all of y'all documentation and they're going to say, now, who are you going to vote for? The Democrats. The Democrats are going to promise they're going to give you everything so you're dependent on the government. So you never live the American dream. You will never experience the American dream if you let them get their fangs in. It sound good. It sound cute. But if they document the document you, they're going to they're gonna hold you hostage to the government forever. They're trying to give them free health care because they want to suck you into the system and get you to be a permanent voter for the Democrat Party forever. 100% guarantee. Now I'm going to let this be finished and then we'll be, and I'm going to go into the next video. Create a path to citizenship. Mm -hmm. And um, you'll have folks that might say, look at these systems, you know, that our shelter system has weight and things like that. But one of the reasons that our public systems experience weight is because people don't have a documented and reliable path to work and sustain themselves. Mm -hmm. Just like all of our ancestors did and our, and our grandparents and great grandparents. Shut the front door. They don't have documents because they're doing it illegally. There are great people, good people, Good-hearted people that are literally seeking asylum, coming into America, doing it the right way, and they get their papers. They got their documents. They go to the doctor. They go to work. They're documented. They're doing their thing. They're able to vote. They're able to join the military. They're able to become police officers. But the rest of y'all, y'all can't just do that like that. You should be patient. You should wait in another country. You should seek asylum. And when the country allows you in, you come in. You don't just bombard your way into the country and be here illegally, slide through gates, getting coyotes to bring you over here, getting raped on the way over here. I mean, you can go down the list. It's not sustainable. All these sanctuary states and sanctuary uh, cities are now crying because they don't have enough room for these people. Yeah, because it wasn't sustainable to start with. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.